What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Singleton um, on MTG Arena because it is a thing you can do. And you get a free duress for every win. And if you get five wins, you get a Galta. So that's where I'm at right now in my life. So we're looking for two drops here. So we decided to play this uh, just to... It's just a, probably a white red aggressive deck. I guess we can actually add the red cards now. So that we know how many one drops we want. A lot of shock. Not many red one drops we really care about. Hey YouTube me, you watch this. Tiger Nate, if you're watching, you've already watched this. Oh, no instance makes total sense for day nine. Yeah, Sean hates spells. Billy, what's going on, my dude? Oh, that was a lot. Apparently I put more. Okay, so two drops. Crater Maker seems good. Instigator seems fine. It doesn't like that. <laughs> it's like, no, only one. All right, well, don't show it to me twice then. Raptor Hatchy. Steamkin. We're already at 41 cards. Maybe this is too aggressive. Billy, are you home yet? Lannery Storm. <laughs> Legion War Boss. Knight, Knight of Grace. Hero's probably not great, actually. We don't have that many gold cards yet. I also don't think we're going to have that many to begin with. Oh, we get 15 cards, though, not including lands, though. All the lands are already in here, so that's good. That's good to know. I would say Banalish Marshal, but it might be hard to cast. Because you're only going to get one of each land, too, so that's kind of worth considering. Militia Bugler. No, oh, one Resplendent Angel seems fine here. I believe Wasi approached him and said, we would like to give you money for your services. That's probably correct. What is What are my feeling on delicious things? I, I generally enjoy delicious things. I usually err on the side of enjoying delicious things. I think we're going to top our curve at four here with like a very few four drops. So we get nine more cards. Maybe we're being too... Uh, well, we definitely want heroic reinforcements. So Give me them Boros cards, boy. Okay. Uh, we can go Sacred Foundry, Clifftop Retreat, obviously. I guess Boros Guildgate 
and stone quarry because they are our only options. Just a strike is good. So this is 12, 8, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we're actually looking okay with that. We have a Legion War boss. Frenzy? Experimental Frenzy? I don't think we're experimental frenzying here. How many four drops do we have right now? One, two, three, four. That seems like a good amount. Tajik seems good. We get five more cards. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Chance for Glory is good. Let's try one Chance for Glory. Why not? What problem is? How's our curve looking? Seems pretty good so far. Two drops we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's look for more two drops. I mean, it's tempted to just play this 2-2 two, two there for, for two with lifelink. Impassioned Orator is probably not terrible if we're playing a Johnny. Or a Johnny Pride, maybe, rather. Hmm. Pride of Conquerors actually could be very good as well. I think it probably is. And we get one more card. How many three drops do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good amount. Well, we already have Seal Away. We have a ton of spot We have Seal Away, Lava Coil, Lightning Strike, Justice Strike, Conclave, uh, Tribunal. Like, we have a bunch of Shock. I don't really feel like we're missing uh, spot removal here. Actually, let's play the, the gold gentleman. Where's the Boros cards? Let's play uh, the Sky Terror 2-2 two, two for 2. Actually, Swift Vindicator is probably just better than something, right? Let's cut Impassioned Orator. Alright, where did this deck go? I don't know. We'll just call it Singleton Boros. What's Relentless Raptor? What is that? What is that? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna find out. Is that a thing? It did not show up. There's a Raptor Companion, 3 3 must attack. Do I not have that? I probably don't have that. Oh, yeah, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, that guy's real good. I'll make one of these dudes. That is strong. Okay, I think we can actually take one land out. Okay. Let's do it. I'm in it to win it.
One, two, yeah. Wait, what is going on in the back of this? Wow, these are these are quite funny. All right. What up, Caspi? Oh my god, that's actually hilarious. Alright, that's pretty funny. I mean, I'm really just hoping they don't wipe the board somehow. Because that would be really sad. Cleansing Nova. Not a cleansing nova. It seems good. Danny Trent, you versus Sean Plot. Yeah, that'd actually be pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually have no way with only one planes. We only have we have no way to get City's blessing this turn. That's kind of funny. dodge like a cleansing nova here guys okay well You spoke it into existence, you should know better by now. I agree with you. Oh, seal always rough because it forces them, they actually get to attack with it. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Wow, they played a Tali with not a single red mana up. I'm gonna resolve this because if they hit like Conclave Tribunal, it looks like a Plains for us. And a Phyrexian Scriptures. Well. What is this deck, dude? We can deal five and then we have lightning strike. If we draw like a burn spell, we're in good shape, right? I agree with you. This does not seem terrifying. He seems like a little cutie. He's a little float cutie. There's a lot of mana you got here. Well, we don't want to play that. Go 
Get busy scripting. Alright, well. How much other burn do we have? We got Lightning Strike, Skewer the Critics. <sighs> Best of one is a cool a cool format. So after you get one win, is there even a point to playing more? Like, because you get, if you get one win, you get the Duress. And if you get five wins, you get the Galta. But like, is there a point to playing if you've lost your first round and won your second round? Is there a point to even playing the next three rounds? It feels like the answer is no. Which is kind of a weird system because they kind of disincentivized you from... But no, I mean, like, even though, even though I do want the Galta, my point is, like, if I win, if I lose the first round, I can't actually get it, so... Oh, that's right. You can go. Yeah, you can get five wins. Never mind. You're right. You're right. I thought it was five rounds total, not five losses. Not not like. You're right. I thought it was a set number of rounds, not a set number of wins or losses. I I I was thinking like Magic Online for some reason. Or most normal events. Yeah, the arena model. I was like, wait, but if I lost the first round, I can only win four, right? No. Got him. Yesterday I gave five bucks and said I'm terrible at magic. Now I'm teaching you new formats. Yeah, well, this is just the uh, the emotional roller coaster that we're on together. Interesting. Frost links, essentially. Well, that card is hard to deal with, surprisingly. Well, I'm not going to attack into that guy, so. What we can do is play this guy and Tribunal. It's nice playing this deck against decks that don't have sweepers or aren't going to have sweepers. You got it. We could have also made like a much more, um, a much more tier one deck, if you will. Like just a stronger deck with a bunch of like Saltire Rares or whatever, like a Hydroid Crassus, a Jade Light Ranger, Find Finalities, Midnight Reapers, like all the, all the, all the hits. That is a good one. Will this let, how do I, will this let me choose? I really don't want to like choose these two. Okay. One, two, three, four. I don't 
think it's actually worth attacking into this 2 2. I think I'm good. Yep, that is fine. Quite fine. It's pretty good. Oh, the Aurelia will do it. All right, well, we're two one. That's a keeper. What are we playing first? Healer's Hawk? Deal. And Vanguard. What is that noise when the Vanguard comes down? It sounds like a snake. It's like... You guys hear it? Is it just me? We should have something to pump this, like even if it's just like a plus three. It's a vampire noise, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Even though it's not, it's not a really, it's not a good one. This is an extra six. No, I'm just gonna play this guy. I'm gonna get lightning striker or something. I think they're dead. Oh, Chupa Loops. That's sad. That's sad that you would do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. All right, huh? I'm alright with this. One drop, two drop, two drop. Sure. What are we, three one right now? Two one? I don't know. It's hard to keep track. Sometimes you win so quick, you're like, I don't even, I don't even know what's happening. I don't really want to trade here. I feel like it's actually... I feel like we just killed this guy. 
it's really actually we can kill it with the crater maker and play like knight here sure yes That seems good. This is nice because if the gates ablaze, like we get to keep dealing. We only lose Tajik here, so. Oh, Elvis reborn, and this is also why I didn't put the counter on this guy because putting all our eggs in these baskets. Discard Pride Mate. Where'd they get this ram? Oh, they returned it with March of the Drown. Okay, so you block here, you take five. Alright, well, we got just a strike. Let's Steamkin. And just a strike. So if you block the biggest guy, you still take five. Woo! Killing it. We got one more win? Wow. I did not think I was at four wins already, but you know, time flies when you're when you're crushing with uh, the mono, the red, the red white aggro deck. Uh, I'll keep this, although it could be, could be the end, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Mountain Arena. Did you say Smountain? He did, but it doesn't matter because. And we can build something else after this, and we can be like, all right, we went 4 1 with this deck. It's pretty good. That's rude. But now I have a target for my Ajani, so that's okay. No, that's pretty good. We have one of those. We have not drawn it yet, though, so. Runaway train never coming back. I choose you. We get to a Johnny, put two counters on here. That's pretty good, boys. Oh, that's sad. Are you just gonna kill my my vampy boy? Oh man. Oh man. That's brutal. 
That's less brutal. Oh, we should have played this first. I'm a friggin' dummy. Actually... Yeah, now that this guy's tapped, we're just gonna put two counters on there. We should have played this first. You do not have to fight yeah, that was stupid. Oh well, still good. We missed one point, so if they end up winning at one, I'm feeling, I'm gonna feel real bad. But having an Johnny and a three three and a two two on board, I'm all right with it. Well, they just play through removal spells. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can still fight. Yeah, they can't kill a Johnny here, so. That guy's got haste too. I'll butter my biscuits. Are you finished? Are you finished? That's Are we playing the flame chicken? No, we don't have many four drops. We just have like three four drops and a conclave tribunal. We have a Johnny, heroic reinforcements, and a Aurelia. I'd like to draw that. Can I draw that? Oh, cliff top retreat. Okay, well, I'll just play it because we want to hit the city's blessing soon. But well, not gonna block because I believe our floaty boys are stronger, but apparently not. Oh God, come on, dude. That's very good, especially with six mana. No attacks. Well, yeah, we'll attack. We're not going to block, so I'd rather attack now and trade with one of your guys then. So we take four, eight, nine. I'll take nine and go to ten. And hope you just didn't top deck an answer for our Resplendent Angel because that's probably going to win us the game. Oh god, and we have six minutes. I'm pretty sure we're getting the five wins here. If we can if they didn't just hit Oh that's Oh no! There's a blocker though. Oh, it doesn't matter actually. We just have to gain the life. Yeah, that's fine. Do you block? I gain five and make an angel? Yeah, seems good. I'm game. I'm game. Resplendent Archangel OP. This is why you wait to play this card. You don't just throw this card down. Hmm. The angel gave me the city's blessing. Beautiful. This is not legendary, so we are in good shape here, my dudes. I can't think of a situation where I don't just pump this gain five and make another angel, so... And they have Vigilance? Oh my god. This is what's known as broken, my dudes. Resplendent Archangels, a real magic card, and they are essentially dead on board to this lightning strike. And also these three, fly these three flyers, so. Alright, first outing, we go 5-1. Seems good.
In record time, no less. In a record time. Give my galtas. That's just an Elfheim druid. Oh, got that. Look at that beautiful full art galta and that that OP uh, Urza's Duress art. That's nice. That is nice. All right, let's do it again. What are we building now? Hmm. Let's build. Elves, huh? I bet we could build some elves. Oh, the growth chamber guardian's pretty terrible, right? <laughs> hey, uh, can you want to search for another one of me? Okay, well, you can never do that. Druid, is there any payoff? What's the payoff for elves? Marwin is good. Thorin's good. Let's make sure there's a decent payoff. Steel of Champion Beast Whisperer. We can actually play black as well. Incubation Druid seems nice. District Guide, obviously. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Imara and Conclave Cavalry are nice. This is not a ton of elves, unfortunately. I don't know if the payoff is here. We could play a bunch of pump spells, but hmm. <laughs> Carnage Tyrant. Well, it's not an elf, but I, I see what you're saying. Dinosaurs actually seems pretty sweet. Let's play some dinosaurs instead. All right. Do we play Naya dinosaurs or just? Let's play Priest. I feel like we can play more dinosaurs than we would normally play because of uh, the fact that it's a six, seven, eight. Five, this is eight mana each. Can we can we ramp into these guys? We're gonna try. We're gonna try to do it. Thirty-eight dollars for elves. Okay, we'll do elves after this one if you're gonna be around. That would be sweet. Let's do that. All right. That's that's good enough. That's good enough. <laughs> oh, I think RPG Badger is secretly a millionaire. He's just like I'm just gonna throw this one of my one of my favorite streamers. So I'm just gonna throw them random amounts of money every so often. Keep them off guard. Uh, Atali, Burning Suns Avatar. Secretly, okay. Okay. All right. After this, we'll do we'll do this. We'll do dinosaurs, and then we'll do elves, because I feel like singleton's just a fun format where we can do whatever we want. Knows the comma. We're not there yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. Take it easy. Uh, maybe gigantosaur. Dinosaur spells costing four less seems good, or two less rather. Sword tooth seems good, because these are all one ofs too. Let's not forget, like. Eh, Allosaur is fine. It's a 5-5 five, five for 4 at the very worst. Galta seems gr Oh, hold up, hold up. Good Galta. <laughs> and then when I, when I play in the queues, people are going to be like, Wow, he already went 5-0 once. That's amazing. He's so good at this game. And I'm going to be like, I know.
Are there dinosaurs I don't own? I bet there are. Hwatley's Snubhorn. A 2-2 two -two for 2 with Vigilance. What a little cutie. What a little cutie that isn't in the actual set. Trapped out Tyrant? Eh, that guy's fine. There's no real way to, there's no real efficient way to deal damage to your dinosaurs. Like, by yourself. Like, there's no, like, cunning spark mages, I don't think. One, two, three. Alright, so... Then we gotta put removal in after this, so... And ramp. Removal and ramp. Ramp removal, if you will. Where is four? Do I not have it? I don't think I have a forerunner. Wow. So I guess that is actually a way to deal damage to your dinosaurs, isn't it? Hmm. But we didn't put any of the enraged ones in except for like Ripjaw and Ranging Raptors, I think. I think we really want to focus on some ramp at this point. Fervent Paincaster? I don't even know what that I don't even know who that is. Crested Herd Caller is just Registrar Alpha 2.0, right? Two three threes instead of a four four and a three three. Raging Registrar is nice, actually. That guy can shoot your own dinosaurs. I don't have Gashath or or Zakama. I don't know if I want to make these mythics though, I'll be honest with you. I think our deck is probably pretty top heavy already with these guys. Alright, let's look up let's search for basic land here. Uh, circuitous route seems good. Grow from the ashes seems good. Where is um, hmm. I was gonna say, is the white even worth it? But we do have like. Waking, Wakening Sun and Zatalpa, so... And Hawali, I think those are kind of cool. I want to take this Priest out, though. Druid. Incubation Druid, probably worth playing. Same thing with Druid of the Cowl. That's a lot of... We actually have a lot more slots than I thought we would. This is nice. Oh, what about Nikia? I actually feel like that's pretty good. <laughs> like, we could just play that and then just play a bunch of fat idiots afterward. That seems pretty cool. Um, seal, uh, Conclave, Tribunal. Uh, Ixalan. We'll play a binding. We'll play a seal away. Play a lightning strike. Great, I'm searching for all the first strikes. So this is what? 11, 18. This is always going to be 24, I guess. Um, gift. Enchant land. Let's go enchant land. That's not how you spell that. I don't have any Gift of Paradise. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Man. Oh, I do like a Vivian Reed. I guess we can play one Vivian Reed. Gigantosaurus actually might be pretty hard to cast. 
We need three more slots here, guys. I literally asked you, what is Fervent Paincaster? I literally responded to the first thing you said. There was one thing you said that I didn't respond to, you friggin' jerk. <laughs> oh my god. Play a dude, draw a card. Okay, you gotta tell me what that is. I have no idea what that is. Beast Whisper? Let's also figure out the land situation. What is this? Like, it just suggests... Like, what is this? Like, it just literally goes to nothing? Like, it's just a button that turns on a suggest land card? What does that even mean? What's the point of that? Can I get my lands? Carl draws him, I think, is the... <laughs> Yeah, that's probably it. Carl draws them. <laughs> no idea why that was so funny, but here we are. Okay, so we're Naya colors, right? So we can play Stomping Ground, Rootbound Crag. Guildgate, I guess. Guildgate. Sacred Foundry Clifftop. Guildgate, Petal, Temple. I don't know if I want these. Like, I don't know if I want that many lands that come into play tapped. The three one from Hour of Devastation. Can I look up three one here? No, that they're like, no, that's a red that's a that's a red flag, my dude. Why isn't that a search term? You should be able to search by three one. You can search for you should be able to search for power slash toughness. I don't know why you can't do that. I'm really confused. Okay. I wish you just knew the name. What did you say? Was that the was your name correct? Pain. I can just look up pain, right? I can't tell if you're being serious though, right? Is it fervent? I can only fervent is a word I there we go. Um Yeah, there's nothing, there's no fervent pain, there's nothing with fervent or pain in the name. Unless it's not a red card, but that doesn't make any sense. One, two, three, four, five, this is going to be nine lands, so. Hmm. See, here's the thing. Yeah, there's still no pain caster. And I have both collected and not collected revealed. But either way, when I when I search for pain, it should bring up everything that has the word pain in it. Okay, so it is a card. Oh, it's an exert card. That's an almond keg card. That's not even a lead. <laughs> oh god. You're gonna complain that I'm ignoring you. And then you're gonna name cards that aren't even standard legal. Oh my god, why do you exist? How do you get through your day? Are we forgetting anything? Like, we also have, like, Burning Sun's Avatar, Waking, Awakening Sun's Avatar, uh, as removal. And we still get three more cards? This deck is sweet. I'm looking forward to playing this bad boy. You should put <laughs> maybe Gadok Teague. Chris, I actually put Gadok Teague, but it, it turns off our, our one Vivian read, so it's kind of I'm kinda of not not super high on that. Oh elk tears. <laughs> Do we want Lyra? Probably. I mean she doesn't have any synergy with the deck whatsoever, but I mean she's probably just good enough, right? Or we could just play this Resplendent Angel because that card is also bonkers. Especially if you're able to ramp into it. Yikes. What about one Unbreakable Formation? 
That actually seems pretty good. I want to put one Unbreakable in here because, like, I don't know. If they go to Cleansing Nova and we can just Unbreakable Formation, that's pretty gas. I mean, sometimes you just slam a Lyra and they don't have recourse for it. How about Rex Sage because it's best of one? Is there a dinosaur that destroys an instant or an artifact or an enchantment? I don't think so, but. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy should 100% be in the deck. Wow, Thrashing Bronthodon. How did I even forget that, idiot? That dude's amazing. We also have Vivian Reed, though, so that's good. Wow, how did I forget Thrashing Brontodon? That's hilarious. Also, Knight of Autumn is very good as well. We could probably just play Knight of Autumn. Yeah, Knight of Autumn is probably pretty good. Alright, I think this is our deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so thirteen. I'm actually okay with 555. Five, five. It's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Uh, we can actually take one mountain out. Add one more forest. I like that. All right. Oh, Guardian Project seems insane, actually. Let's put one Guardian Project and then cut something else. Because, yeah, all the cards are one of so. Do we just cut Gigantosaur? Like, it doesn't get... Yeah, we can cut the Gigantosaur. It's cute, but it's not, like, super easy to... We're going to call this Singleton Dinosaurs. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready to 5-1 five, five, again? I'm sorry, guys. I'm streaming right now, okay? I'm sorry I can't respond to all of you. Immediately. This deck is sweet. And, uh... I'm excited about it. Oh, Unclaimed Territory could have been good. I actually didn't look at any lands that were not, like, strictly dual lands. Um, yeah, this hand actually seems pretty good. I feel like this is a format where I can just be like, let's have some fun. Let's play some crazy decks. I choose to be offended that you didn't respond to me while you're streaming. I choose to accept that. I understand. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! That's for me. I am the A.A. Ron here. Oh wait, in a one in a in a singleton format, huh? The bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay, they're milling us. Well, it's advisor, sure, but like this wall is an advisor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. We're just gonna play this. Uh, maybe we play Huatli first. If we play Nikki of the old ways, we can play Zatalpa next turn. Wait, a deck can have any number of... Does that, does that go around the... Oh, wow, that goes around the singleton rule? That's hilarious. It's either one of these two, man. I don't know which one it is, though. I 
think we figured out which one it is. Well, I mean, they only have one right now, so I'm not too concerned with it. They've also missed, like, two land drops. Maybe one, I guess. Looks like two? It's looking like two here. There we go. How do you craft multiple petitioners? That's what I wonder. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but... Deals X damage among any, any, any target creatures. Creatures still this way can't be block can't block this turn. Is it dinosaur? Equally raise power. So we can just play Nikia or Carnage Tyrant. I'm probably just gonna play this because one, two, three, four, five, six. This is eight. We can also just pump this, play this, and then play this next turn. But we don't have any spells in hand, so I might as well just play the five five, right? We could have tapped this and then tapped and then played a druid instead, but I guess that's not an option now. Their strength is your strength. Mm, no attacks. This gentleman has not shown up. I mean, like, unless you're able to activate these. Oh, 12 cards, huh? Okay. So this is five, so I can actually deal three damage to one of these Thank guys. You. What is this? How many is this? Ten gifted subs? Get out of here, my dude. Badger, you are insane, Thank my man. You. Yeah, we're definitely playing. Wow, we're definitely playing. Uh, What's it called? We're definitely playing elves after this. Thank you so much, Thank dude. You. Wow, you are on fire. It deals X damage right any change any more target creatures. Whatever, we're just going to attack you. first. You can stay home. Thank you. Yep. All right. So next. Thank you. Thank you. What? No. <laughs> Three and Thank one, you. please. Submit. Thank you. Fall before me. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How did that work? Add one of any type that land can produce. Thank but where did I get the double white from? Oh, Boros Guild Gate, sure. Thank you. I must be butter because I'm on a roll. Terrible, just terrible. All right, I have forty-three cards, so we can we can we can deal with two hits here. Well, we can deal with three hits, I guess. But doesn't that get rid of all your blockers, though? Oh, they're just gonna scoop. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, Hajigulashi with the gifted subs too. Man, you guys are awesome today. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right, well we got our we got our win already. So, two duresses. We'll probably just, I'll probably just do two different decks per video here. So, if you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm going to do these two decks. And the next video, we'll have two decks as well. We'll call it, like, Dinosaurs and Boros Singleton. Uh, yeah, I guess we can keep this hand. Just going to hope they're not super aggressive against us. Well, that was actually okay. Thank you. <laughs> Josh with the with the ten gifted subs as well. Wow, you guys are on a roll today. So I want double red, so I think I'm just gonna wait to play this. We can just play for Ashen Granton on here. Josh, Haji Gulashi, and RPG Badger. Thank you guys so much. That is a ridiculous amount of subs. You guys are pretty ridiculous right now. Really appreciate it. Thank you. 
Get in there, my dude. Thank you. Why did you say you are welcome? Thank you. It does feel like Thank you. it does feel like a sub off right now. Gonna be a fat badger with all these subs. Oh man. Okay, so one, two, three. We're gonna we're gonna take a hit from this guy. If we play this last turn for one, could we have just played this guy this turn? Probably. It's just double red. Thank you. Red, red, green, 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 white, white. Yeah, it's just double. It's just double red here. Thank you. If you wanna, what's Thank happening right now? <laughs> Billy with the Thank ten gifted subs. Wow. All right. So we're having a good time. <laughs> Oh man. Thank well, that's a thing. That is a thing. Billy, thank you so much, buddy. Thank really appreciate it. A little ridiculous. Don't get something good, okay? That's all I'm asking. All my cards are good, though, so. It's almost impossible not to. Thank you. Also, anybody who received a gifted sub, if you guys want to renew that next month and show your support for the stream, really appreciate that. But that is up to you. Yeah, this guy said he'd be here by three. I don't think he's coming. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. We can just kill this guy next turn. That seems pretty good. Is that what they hit? No, that's what they hit over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, I really want the Guardian Project first, but... Okay, I want to make sure I'm not putting it on the land that they're... Taggered up to one creature. This guy. Keep on coming. This guy doesn't even have a trample. Doesn't matter. That's the one you're exiling? Fascinating. It's not ideal, but okay. So any creature could be good here. Oh, that's a good one. That's what we were hoping for. Alright, well, if we can hit a creature, we're real close. Did you make the Danny Trejo avatar? No, I did not. No, I did not. That would be amazing if I could just make my own avatar, but I do not have that sort of... Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, not terrible. It's a good start. Draw a card. Oh my god, we're so close. Are we dead? 
We block here, we take tw we six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Wow. Two life points away and awakening sun's avatar. We're so close. This hand seems fine. Tin Man, what up, my dude? Galta would have still been around. What does that mean? Oh, that's true. But yeah, we'd have two blockers. We'd have two very, very big blockers. And they would just have a Galta, so... Uh, let's reel the dinosaur. Submit. How are we looking? We got planes, planes. Let's get a second green source. Oh my god, this deck again? Come on, guys. Come on, my dudes. So both of these are going to ramp us one. So I'll just play this. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Morgan, what's going on? Morgs, if you will. You won't, though. It's unfortunate, but I respect it. What does this guy cost? Eight? Sure, you got me. I didn't draw my Druid of the Cowl. We have no spells in our hand except for Grow. I'll take a chance. This is where they go land... Petitioner, Petitioner, Millis. We have four turns if that happens, so. That is not a persistent Petitioner. That is a good sign. That is a good sign. Okay, well, that's also good, too. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play a Tali for three and also Galta this turn. <laughs> Guys, listen. Don't counter this. I got three mana up. You can't quench it. You can essence capture it. You didn't do that, so. Seems good. I'm no expert, but that seems pretty okay. Appreciate it. Well, you know, far be it for me to call someone a name they do not approve of. That is not, uh, that is not kosher, as they say. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. I mean, you're dead, but you got it, my dude. Okay, so Nikia has been a great choice. I'm okay with this deck. This deck's cool, at least. Are we... Rhythm of the Wild! We totally forgot Rhythm. That would have been a good addition. Man, there's so many cards. Thanos with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm actually... I'll keep this hand. Thanos, long time no see, my dude. You got Cinder Barons? Okay. I'm game. We're gonna get you. I will block and unfortunately not trade. Oh, this is great. Oh my god, Ranging Raptors versus Legion War Boss. They have to attack with their goblin every turn into my guy. Oh yeah, that's gas.
Oh, yes. Been a busy month or so. Hope you've been doing good, buddy. Oh, dang it. Well, still got a land. All right, we'll take action. What do we want, another white source? Yeah, we don't have a second white source. So we'll just get another planes. Well, that was good. Lava Coil is a good card. One, two, three, four. We have enough mana to play Registrar Alpha. How about no attacks? I don't feel like we're in the attack in the attack position here. The Treo plot branding on this—it's so weird, dude. I want to be honest. In my lifetime, I did not expect to see Sean and Danny Treo in the same like in the same like game. It represented in the same way. I don't know. It seems very strange. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually pump this and then play Ixalan's Binding, or we can just Vivian Reed if we're not too concerned with this right now, which I don't think we are yet. I think it's probably better to get a Vivian Reed on board. Would you like to see what's left of Scar? And we could also kill it if we wanted to, but you again, I don't think it's. Nature. How much mana do we have? Two leftovers? So we can play Dover, Drover of the Mighty if we wanted to. It's just a 3-3. And we played a land this turn. Yeah, we'll just take Drover here. Hold on, I missed a bunch of stuff. Um... Getting ready to pull the trigger on submitting my tax return. We only owe 14k. Oh, I guess that's good though, because it means you did pretty well for yourself. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that just win us the game? I mean, probably. I mean, we get to we like we lose both of these, but like we're pretty far ahead if we do. I guess we'll see what we draw first. Meet my newest friend. Another creature, sure. Um, add a mana, add a white. Let's just cast to destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. guys haste oh it gets haste from the alpha Woo! <laughs> oh boy you got it i'll sacrifice this little dinosaur here wow wow Uh, Druid of the Cow makes this hand pretty keepable, I think. Because then we can play this guy on turn three if we don't hit a land. We did. Stone Corgan Island. Intriguing. That might be better, but I'm not sure.
All right, well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana now. We can pretty much cast anything we want to. Goodbye, little dinosaur. Well, you're not going to do anything. Yet. 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are not there yet. Rhythm would have been so good in this deck. I can't believe I forgot the rhythm. Rhythm would have been great. Because it makes all your guys uncounterable and it, uh, you know. Have we lost the match with this deck yet? I don't, I didn't think so, but it might have been, I might be thinking of last, last round. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think that card's really saving us here. Dovin Schmong. I wrote an entire treatise on your impending failure. These results are an anomaly. Oh, that's right. I don't know if that was Argalt or if they just had their own in the deck. Well, they have three cards. We have a Galta in hand. That's kind of sad. Sure. Well, that sure makes it easier to play multiple cards. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, cancel that. <laughs> and the turn. Alright, so. This is actually not new Galt art. This is actually the Galt art that was in the... The real-life promos, right? The real-life full-size Galtas. Full art Galtas, rather. Eight. I mean, we could cast this and just get it countered. Oh, wow, they have Entrancing Melody as well. Hmm. Counter it. Just counter it. That worked? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have to have 10 mana to, to, to activate this, right? Well, that'll do. Water Sports Drew with the reset. Thank you so much, buddy. Frank about Abzan, Nick Fit on MTGO, and it's awesome. Any chance for one spicy legacy? Con yeah, I would actually, I would do that. I actually, Nick Fit's one of my favorite, one of my favorite decks in that, in that format, the format being legacy. One... We still have two red, right? Yeah, okay, we can just get double white here. Actually, we can just get Boros Guild Gate and... Yeah, we'll just get Boros Guild Gate for the planes. I don't think we're winning this game. We're just way too far behind here. CN Quotes, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Guys, I don't think we're 5-0-ing with this deck, unfortunately, but I would like to tweak it and play it again.
They're sitting here with Essen Scatter and Entrancing Melody, so it's like kind of bad for us. And we're just drawing lands here, so. Yep, that's a good one. In case you actually didn't have enough cards in your hand, I think this is a good choice. You can actually uh, put more cards in your hand. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're drawing all lands. That is fine and expected. That's okay. They have seven cards. We have two. We're good. We're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're actually one man away from just hard casting Galta with no creatures on the board. That seems pretty good. Yep, that's probably the game. I mean, even if we, unless we draw like Thrashing Bronto Don, where are there? Hmm. Getting rid of Entrancing Melody is interesting. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. Unfortunately, we were not. It was not meant to be a 5 0. We need a Rhythm of the Wild in the deck, unfortunately. So, um. We still got our Duress. I'm okay with it. Let's check out the deck real quick, and we can just add. I like that Clan Caller is still the uh, the official. Actually, Unbreakable Formation does not seem great. Rhythm. Everything else seemed great. I really had no issue with any of the other cards in the deck. We had a bunch of ramp. We had a bunch of. Solid dinosaurs. Wait, did we not take this out? There you go. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll try it again next. But uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below. And if you want to support the channel in other ways, those are definitely great ways to do it. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.